Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us for the Sheraton Drive Water and Sewer Improvement Meeting. If you already have a question, you can put that in the chat. Bottom right-hand corner of your screen, you'll see that little bubble. Um, we will take those questions first after the presentation, then we'll take questions from the call-in users. Uh, if, you can see on, if you can see the PowerPoint, this meeting is the first of two. Uh, this one is at 6 p.m. on Monday, and the second one will be at 1 p.m. on December 11th. And I, I, that's said the presentation is being recorded, and I'm going to hand this over to Pratima Pujal, who is our project manager. Pratima? Thank you, Sally. This is the agenda for today's meeting. I am going to introduce the project team. I'll provide you the project overview, project area. We'll discuss some of the frequently asked questions, and then I'll provide you the project timeline. My name is Pratima Paudyal, and I am senior professional engineer with City of Fort Worth Water Department, and I am the project manager for this project. My phone number is 817-392-6149, and email is pratima.pavial at phototexas.gov. Leah Brown is the Neighborhood Development Coordinator for this project, and her number is 817-392-8638, and email is leah.brown at phototexas.gov. Unfortunately, because of some family emergencies, we could not be present at this meeting tonight. RLG is the design engineering firm, and Brent Lewis is the project manager for, uh, from RLG, and he's present in this meeting tonight. This is the project area. We are going to extend the water and sewer line on the Sheraton Drive. This is in City of Fort Worth, Council District 5, and uh, customers from historic Top 6, Top 6 Poly Oversight Area will be impacted by this project. Some of the um, landmarks near this uh, project um, are, um, the first one is the fire station number three, which is on the west side of the Sheraton Drive. Um, another one is Boys and Girls Club of Greater Tar Tarrant County, which is on the north side of the fire station, and the Emmanuel Baptist Church, which is on the east side of Sheraton Drive. Um, project overview, uh, this is the Sheraton Drive where we are going to extend the water and sewer line. Uh, there are no, um, uh, currently no water and sewer lines on the Sheraton Drive. Uh, this project includes extension of sewer and water main uh, from Rami um, Avenue Sheraton Drive intersection uh, to Sunshine Drive Sheraton Drive um, uh, intersection. Um, in this project, uh, Fort Worth Water Department is partnering with um, uh, Fort Worth Neighborhood Services Department on the Community Development Block Grant. Addresses 2510, 2512, 2514, 2516, 2518, Ferret Drive are owned by Fort Worth Housing Finance Corporation and are intended for development of affordable single family houses. I mentioned Community Block Grant Fund. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit more about the fund and the background of this project. In early 2020, a developer applied for a Community Development Block Grant, CDBG Fund, to install water and sewer lines to connect to a lot they owned on Saraton Drive. Through this request, Neighborhood Services staff learned that water and center sewer main did not exist on this block, and as a result, proposed to fund this project with the CDBG fund to provide water and sewer service to this block in order to support single family infill development on Saraton Drive. Infill development is defined as new development on vacant or undeveloped land, undeveloped land within an existing community that is enclosed by other type of development. The term urban infill implies that existing land is mostly built out and what is being built is in effect um, filling in the gaps. The term mostly, come, uh, mostly refers to building single family homes in existing neighborhoods. And if you have more questions about community block grant fund, then you can contact um, Leah Brown uh, about that. You can also um, uh, type your question on the chat and then we'll um, uh, for that to be uh, to answer your question. 
This is the project area again um, on the Saraton Drive where we are going to install eight inch PVC water line. The water line will connect to a 16 inch water line on Ramy Avenue and a six inch water line on Sunshine Drive. On the Saraton Drive, we are going to install eight inch PVC um, sewer line as well. The sewer line is going to connect eight inch sewer line on Ramy Avenue and 10 inch sewer line on Sunshine Drive. And the construction, um, um, the construction is include installation of water and sewer line on the Saraton Drive, water and sewer services. Once the water and sewer lines and services are installed, the Saraton Drive will be paved with asphalt and the curb and gutter will be reconstructed. Uh, we're gonna uh, discuss some of the frequently asked questions. Um, the first one is, will there be a lane closure during construction? There will be traffic lane closure um, uh, on Saraton Drive, Rani Avenue, and Sunshine Drive during the installation of uh, water and sewer lines. Mostly the uh, lane closure will be on Saraton Drive, but when they, the co contractor make water and sewer connection uh, on Rani Avenue and Sunshine Drive, um, both of those streets will be um, uh, there will be lane closure on those streets as well. However, the uh, traffic control signs will be posted to alert the motorist. Does this project include sidewalks? Sidewalks are not part of this project. Now I'm, I'm going to provide you a timeline for this project. Um, this is the design community meeting. The next step will be advertising uh, this project for bids for construction. Once we receive the bids, we'll open the bids. Once the bids are open, the city council will approve um, award to the uh, bid to the contractor. Once the bid is awarded to the contractor, a pre-construction meeting will be held with the contractor and city inspector. Once we have the pre-construction meeting, we'll come back to the community with another WebEx meeting we have a construction meeting uh, to update uh, who, who will be impacted by this project. Currently, uh, we are estimating to start construction on this project by uh, early spring of 2022. If you are interested to find more information um, about this project or get more updates, uh, you can uh, go to the link um, over here you can also go to website www.phototexas.gov and enter 103.124 on the search bar. 103.124 is the project number for this project. The link for this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary frequently asked questions will also be linked on the same project page. If you are having emergency or non-emergencies uh, related to water and sewer, you can call the number 817-392-4477. Um, you can select the option one for the emergency issues and it is a 24-hour service. You can call the same number for non-emergency issues. Uh, they are open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now you can download my photos app from the App Store or Google Play, you can report sewer overflow, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water theft, water violation, no water service, water pressure issues, and other um, uh, water sewer concerns through the app as well. Again, my name is Pratima Paudial, and I'm the project manager for this project. My number is 817-392-6149. Email is pratima.paudial at phototexas.gov. Leah Brown is the Neighborhood Development Coordinator. Her number is 817-392-8638, and the email is leah.brown at phototexas.gov. And RLG is the engineering design firm who is designing this project, and Brent Lewis is the project manager from RLG. With that, this presentation is complete. If you have any uh, questions, please type that in the chat box and we'll answer that. Okay, Pratima, so far we have nothing in the chat. Does anybody have a question? Yes, I do. 
Ms. Benton, go ahead. Uh, Laura Bergen here, um, and thank you for putting this together so that we can get up to speed on this as this has been a long time in the birthing process. <laughs> um, I had a question right now. Uh, Sheraton is fully paved asphalt and it has curb and gutter. So does that mean when they come in to do this, the existing stuff will be taken out or just will be impacted and then any repairs that need to be done afterwards, will that it be patched or, or what? how does this work? So when we install the water and sewer line, uh, we'll have to disturb the most of the pavement. So we are going to reconstruct the pavement and uh, and the curb and gutter as well. So it will disturb the that concrete curb and gutter that's existing. Um, uh, when we install the services, we are planning to install the services uh, for the vacant lots as well. So that will disturb the curb and gutter, uh, and then we'll re restore that. I see. Okay. Uh, another. One more question. I noticed that, you know, the uh, lots and I am, we have uh, 2508, which is right next to where the Fort Worth housing starts. Uh, do we, are we able to go ahead and get our tap for water and sewer at that time is the same time that they do, or do we have to wait till it's complete and then come back around and put an application in at that point? So as a part of this project, we are going to provide um, a service um, with an empty meter box. So when the construction is complete, um, you can apply for the tab and pay the fees and connect to it. Okay, so we have to wait till after the construction is finished before we do the application? Um, um, you'll have to check with the um, 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 uh, meter services, uh, sorry, uh, uh, tapping, uh, you may uh, apply beforehand, but you cannot have the service until the construction is complete. Well, right. Okay. But I, I didn't want to miss any window of opportunity. So I'll check with them and see, and perhaps uh, Leah might also have a little more insight in this or not, or is this strictly um, a water thing? Uh, it will be strictly water. Leah may not have more information. Um, I can provide you contact information whom you can ask that question. Okay, thank you. Leticia, did you want to say anything about the block grant? No, just that we're very excited that the project is moving forward and uh, Ms. Bergen will definitely keep in contact with you as you know, Leah is going to be in contact with water. And I know that you are very, uh, we just want to make sure that you're very informed with the whole process. So it won't be a surprise and we'll just make sure we're always in communication with you. Well, sounds good. Thank you so much. I know everybody's really been working on this for a long time, so appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Go ahead, Laura. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions? We will be having that meeting on Saturday at 1 o'clock. That'll be a WebEx meeting. And then, like Pratima said, we will come back and do a WebEx or in person. I'm not sure where we'll be at that state. Um, for the construction stage. Okay. Uh, the next meeting, which is on Saturday, is that right? Is it going to be yes, pretty much the same that we did tonight? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We so just wanted to make sure um, people had a chance to, to hear about it that would not be able to come tonight. Great. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Fatima, do you have anything? No, I'm good. All right. Well, thank you everybody for attending and we will have the summary FAQs and this video up on the website, but I will probably wait until Monday when we have after we have the second meeting. Thank all you. Right. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>